race car is off down on to pit road. The green flag is in the air and throttles are down as the green flag comes out and Albert has leaps to the lead from the pole position. Well, it looked like a car would be popped out of the jack in the box. He was able to get the advantage over Corey Berry. Tied over to the third and Woody put tags fourth. And already some movement in the middle of the track. Keith Rocco, he has put it on the show as he is shocking all of his way. Now he gets next to Ronnie Williams. Yeah, tried to work the bottom of Williams, but Williams pulls him down the straightaway, and Rocco gets back in line. Here comes a move by Todd Owen, looking to the bottom of Mo. Corey Berry blocks him and takes the bottom of the racetrack in a battle for the lead. Out of turn four, makes the bottom work for him, and he's uh, out in front. Trouble for Andrew Moeller on the grass, so it's just his detour as he's back on the asphalt from Mother Nature Boulevard. Trouble for Alvarez. That car is going backwards. Barry in the lead. Here comes Todd Owen. Puts the tomahawk down, and Owen is out in front. Yeah, Owen does that underneath move. Makes a pass going into the turn. Slides up the racetrack. Barry comes right back, but not enough to get alongside of Owen as uh, Woody Pitcat racing from the third spot takes a look underneath Barry going into turn number three. That was a pretty good look and a pretty good move as he is able to help your scout to his way underneath Barry. He moves into second. Here comes Woody Williams. He will shuffle Barry all the way back from second to fourth. Yeah, he gets just up in front of Barry. Barry almost climbs up on the back bumper there. Has to get out of it a little bit and that allows Williams to get away. Now, the battle for the lead, Woody Pitcat, all over Todd Owen. Well, that was happening. Keith Rocco did a trampoline move over Barry. He was in fourth. Fight for the lead. Pitcat by a nose, by a half a car, by three quarters of a car. While he tries to get the lead, Ronnie Williams gains up underneath him. Yeah, Pitcat can't quite clear the all run of Owen. They barely touch out of turn four. Now he's clear, and he gets up in front to lead that lap. And the drum major in the parade is now Woody Pitcat, but all over him like dimples on a golf ball. That is Todd Owen trying to get some inside room. Ronnie Williams is a factor. Keith Rocco is a factor. Troy Tomlin is a factor. As they rocket ship their way into the first quarter. Yeah, it's uh, Pitcat right there, but can't shake Todd Owen. Owen stays within striking distance. Williams also. Williams has a mirror full of Keith Rocco, so Williams knows. He's got to make a move if he's going to stay ahead of Rocco, but the leader of the pack is that 10A of Woody Pitcat. So Woody Pitcat fell short in the way model, trying to get redemption here in the Sunoco Enterprise. Todd Owen looking to make a catapult move against the 10 car. Ronnie Williams is third. Rocco is still tough in fourth, followed by Tommy. They are nose to tail down the front stretch. Those front five cars have pulled away from the rest of the field. Williams takes a look down underneath Owen, but Owen hangs tough and continues to hammer on the back bumper of the uh, Pitcat car. Here comes Keith Rocco trying to put a move on Williams down on the bottom to take the spot away and does. And he is able to clear the number 50, so he made it look easy. Rocco has advanced into third. Todd Owen looks like he is gearing up for another shot as he is loaded up against the 10 car with Cat Pitcat able to protect his turf as they whiplash their way and the fastest pony in the middle of the line continues to be Woody Pitcat but Owen is not far away. Yeah, Owen probably thinking he needs to make a move on Woody Pitcat because Keith Rocco is going to put a move on him within another lap or so. Rocco, of course, wouldn't be able to make that patented bottom move because he'd have to get up in front of Owen and right in front of Owen is Pitcat. So there's an interesting situation out there amongst the front three and exactly what they're going to do remains to be seen. But Pitcat is the man in charge as they race the third and fourth turn. And here comes Ronnie Williams as he tries to flex his muscle against Rocco and it backfired. He loses a position to Troy Tomlin. Yeah, he got the car pitched a little sideways there in the turn when he went to the bottom and he gave it up to Troy Tomlin as they continue to click off the laps. They'll have 14 complete this time by and Pitcat continues to lead. Owen continues to stay within striking distance. And every now and then, Owen takes a peek on the inside, doesn't see anything he likes. Rocco, when is he going to erupt? 
that could be momentarily. Troy Thomas having a strong one behind him, and they're approaching one of the slower cars, and in Dina, will that have a factor in the situation? No. Dina stays underneath, and everybody is able to dive down around him. Now they've got just a half the race to get it done. They've just gone on to the cross flags halfway through the Sunoco modified feature, and again, we've got five cars all nose to tail. It's anybody's race at this point. Woody Pitcat large and in charge, but believe me, they're all standing by to take a run at him. Pitcat leading by two tenths of a second over Tom Owen. And that lead is not very hefty as they are able to gallop off the corner. The fastest of the brightest one in the chandelier is Woody Pitcat. As Woody Pitcat has a little win this year in the Sunoco Modifieds. Rocco has five, and right now he is trapped in third. Yeah, he's sitting there waiting, uh, waiting until the time is right. I don't know whether that's as far as he can go with third spot, but I wouldn't count out Keith Rocco getting up there and challenging for the lead before this thing is over. They'll come around and complete 19 laps this time by. And again, uh, Pitcat with a little bit of breathing room over Todd Owen, but again, they all could be sitting back waiting to employ their late race strategies. Todd Patnode has gotten by Corey Berry, so he is in only six. Not bad for his first time in the Sunoco Modified this year. And leading by about the length of a hockey stick, Woody Pitcat. He has built up his lead over Todd Owen to three tenths of a second, so that lead is growing bigger for Woody Pitcat. Yeah, he's starting to anyway and put a couple of lengths between himself and Owen. Laps winding down. They'll uh, complete lap number 21 this time by. And just uh, a few laps to go before the finish, and they all seem to be comfortable in the position that they're running. And let's see if anyone will break the chain and try to make a move downstairs. It hasn't happened in a while. Now Ronnie Williams, he gets a little brand purchase. just narrows the gap between he and Troy Tallman. So Williams, he might be capable of a last hurrah. But right now, the driver in control, really about the length of an SUV, is Woody Pitcat. And he is still strong. And now Rocco makes that move. Came unexpectedly, but Rocco is able to pounce on Todd Owen. Yeah, he um, saw the opportunity. Owen had faded a little bit on Pitcat, and Rocco couldn't wait anymore. And he did make that move. Owen tried to hang tough up on the outside, but couldn't make it happen. But Rocco is trailing Pitcat by seven tenths of a second. He will have six laps in which to make it up. Owen is now third. And the ball border battle is between Tom and Williams. Williams on the line, and he slingshots his way into fourth. Tom and trying to pay him back as they go into turn three. Yeah, Tom and tried to come right back on the inside, but couldn't make it happen. They're uh, clearing a lap car now of Justin Alvarez as they come out of turn number four. Pitcat with a comfortable lead. Rocco pedaling as fast as he can to try and close that lead, but Pitcat's on a tear down the backstretch and less than five laps to go. Owen in third, but Ronnie Williams, he still has some firepower left, so that'll be an interesting battle. Down to the final four laps, and Woody Pitcat, he is leading by a furlong over Keith Rocco as they are able to blister their way into the third quarter. Yeah, best battle right now is for third. Here comes Williams sizing up Todd Owen, drives underneath, makes the pass, slides up in front of him. Owen tries to come back on the inside, but Williams will power him down the front stretch and hold on to a solid third. And Williams, he is the fastest car on the track right now. Let's see if he can make a move against Rocco. He hasn't had many opportunities or any laps remaining. As Pitcat stops across the strike, he is two laps away from his second win of the year. Two to go, and he has uh, kept that gap over Rocco as he heads off the second turn and down the back stretch. Rocco in a comfortable second. Williams trying to reel him in, but running out of time as he'll come see the white flag this time as they head out of turn four. This could be the coronation lap for Woody Pitcat as he is able to rocket ship his way into the second quarter. And now the yellow comes out. Trouble in turn three. Andrew Moore, the G for Woody Pitcat. 
We'll see how it pans out. Pace car peels off down on the pit road. Now the strategies come into place. Up to speed. Green flag is in the air. Pitcock gets a pretty good start and takes Ronnie Williams with him. And Rocco drops down to third. Here is Williams going for the lead. Daddy Eagle with Pitcock as they fender their way into the third quarter. Now Rocco comes back to life. Here is Williams making a lunge, taking the high road, and it will be at the line. Woody Pitcock with one lap to go. Yeah, Pitcock just barely as Williams had to tiptoe his way through that 34th turn. Same thing here down in one and two. Pitcock is able to clear him, but can Williams hold on to second spot? He's got Keith Rocco all over him. Here they come to the checkered flag. Pitcock off a throw number four. And Woody Pitcock, he will win. Williams second, Rocco third, Owen fourth, and Coleman fifth. Finish, I'll tell you what. Ryan Williams.